Hey guys, I'm Sammy Larson. This is Peter Pan and this is Chow Time with Sammy Larson and Peter Pan. It's our cooking show where we show you guys how to make these awesome meals and treats that you make and you can eat them with your dog. I love to make meals and treats that you can share with your dog. So they're super healthy because dogs have to eat a lot healthier than human beings, even though they usually don't with like dry food or kibble. I'm not putting that down, but I'm just saying when I make um, food, it's really fresh, it's all natural, and it's especially good for dogs with any kind of illness, disease, like Peter has epilepsy, and um, they're good for humans who are watching their sugar or low fat. Everything's super healthy. Today we're gonna make this awesome Elvis Bites. You know why I call them Elvis Bites? Because it's everything Elvis loved. Peanut butter and bananas. Now today we're not adding the bacon, but we have another recipe where we will very soon. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients of these awesome cookies. You can make a lot of variations, but this is kind of like my basic process and my basic um, ingredients to make this, and then you can kind of go off on your own thing and figure out how you like to make them. But uh, I'm going to use one cup of unbleached white flour. Um, this is a cup. This is like you're in the Old West, see? <laughs> Old West. Now, you always want to use, you try to use the least processed food, especially when you're cooking for a dog or maybe somebody that has any kind of um, compromised system or any kind of issues you're dealing with. Unbleached uh, white flour is just, uh, it's not as bright white because it's not bleached. So it's less processed. They use um, peroxide and a couple other things to kind of bleach the wheat. So I'm trying to use the least processed so it's um, unbleached white flour. Uh, see? And some people don't like it because it's not as bright white, but for us and the dogs, it doesn't matter because I'm putting peanut butter and some other goodies in. So the color's not going to be like sugar cookie white, I think you want to say. Um, now, what makes this super healthy, and it's also good, Peter has a heart condition also. Um, he has like the hardening in some of his arteries, which isn't good, but it just happens, you know. So, oats, these are regular old um, Quaker oats, you know, like you grew up eating them, right? Oatmeal. And uh, they give the cookie, obviously, a little bit more protein. They give it a little bit more zhuzh, and they make it super healthy because you know oats are so good for your heart. So they're good for our hearts and of course your, your dog, your cat. So this is one cup. So we add that in, huh? Okay. So fun, isn't it? Now, this is peanut butter. Very important. Don't give your dog peanut butter that has any kind of sugar in it because dogs can die from bad sweeteners like xylitol. Xylitol is something that's found in gum, which is perfect for humans, but very, very, very bad for dogs. Like, I've never heard of dogs dying from chocolate, nor onions, nor garlic, but we're, we have to be careful with them, right? But three different vets told me they know of dogs dying from, um, they snuck in and they got some gum and it had xylitol and no bueno, no good. Now, I did add the dry in, as you saw. I'm going to add the peanut butter in. I did let it sit out. Um, oh, my husband uses, cause it's sticky. <laughs> That's a husband thing. My husband is a little, I have to get another, wash my hands. We're real on this show, we are real. Silly husband. Okay, so with this, this is just an all natural um, peanut butter. Literally the ingredients, I think I just got it at Ralph's. The ingredients are just roasted peanuts and salt. I couldn't find one without salt, but it has just a minimum, minimum amount, which is okay. Now, I did get crunchy. <laughs> I got crunchy. I'm gonna use a half cup. I did get crunchy because 
I'm gonna eyeball this. I've been making them basically. It's gonna be two humongous tablespoons. Like, like, gookin' and gawkin', see? Gookin' and gawkin', there's a lot of that. Um, this is gonna give it amazing, um, amazing flavor. The doggies go crazy over peanut butter. I mean, I love peanut butter too. Huh? We're real on this show, right, Pete? No, you don't want any now? Oops, I just got it on the baby Bjorn. I just got it on the human baby Bjorn. It's okay. All right, now, Elvis loved peanut butter. You know what else Elvis loved? What, Pete, what do you think? Oh, there, he's just licking it off the baby Bjorn. Elvis loved bananas. The bananas, now, I have bananas hanging in my kitchen all the time. Cute. I just snapped it all. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Um, very ripe. You see? The riper, sweeter. When you're baking, it's awesome. It's awesome to use uh, really ripe bananas because that's where we're getting our sweetness from. Because I'm not adding any kind of sugar to this because it's for the doggies. And it makes it super healthy. Like my husband has to watch his blood sugar because it spikes and it ebbs and it flows and it fluctuates, it's not steady. So you don't want to have a lot of um, like white sugar because that's not good for you. You know, fruit, fruit has sweet sugar, yes, but it's natural. Now we're gonna start getting down to 30. We love that, right? Now I'm just gonna use one decent sized banana. When I say decent size, I mean it's not really, really long, it's not short. It's kind of like a medium to big banana. Basically it's a cup. So I'm eyeballing this because I've made these so many times, but um, you want one big banana. Everybody loves bananas. Pete loves bananas. Bananas are good for dogs. A little bit of peanut butter is good for dogs. Pete loves the banana. I also, there's a doggy I take care of um, who just goes bananas over bananas. <laughs> and I always say people who don't like bananas are crazy. People who don't like bananas are bananas. Okay, now. Cinnamon. Cinnamon goes in a lot of my recipes because cinnamon is very good for blood glucose. Cinnamon adds sweetness. It's crazy how it does it, but it adds sweetness without sugar. It's like magical. For instance, when they told my husband he couldn't really have a lot of sugar, he started putting the cinnamon in his coffee and he was like, I don't even miss the sugar. See? So I add these in a lot of my baking. Um, I add a lot of cinnamon. I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon. Now, I bought this big one, which is a pain in the butt because um, when I go to pour it, it goes everywhere. So I'm, I'm kind of like manually, if you wanna use the word manual, I'm doing this. You can see it's about half a cup. Now this is a lot of cinnamon, but we like cinnamon and the dogs go crazy and it's very good for you. Very good. People take uh, cinnamon pills, like I was saying, for their blood glucose to limit it off. People also use cinnamon for um, cholesterol. <laughs> See? Chock full of information. This one I just bought at the store. This will probably last me a couple months because we use it a lot, maybe four months. Now, one egg. Whoop. Oh, I'm crazy. I try to get cage free eggs because I try to be kind to animals and I try to do my best when I buy things for my family. These, um, I wasn't really looking for brown eggs. They, they were brown, but they were um, cage free and the chickens can, you know, roam around and have fun. I don't want to contribute to factory farming. You try to do your best when you get food for your family and for your animals. So, in goes the egg, whoop. That was fun, right? There we go. I'm rinsing my hands, huh? Just like Rachel Ray, huh? I love her. Now, also I want to show you guys something. Um, when I cook and bake, I always use like a coconut oil to line the pan and it makes for a good cooking. Okay. And you need this, a rolling pin, because we're gonna roll them. Now, very simply, I'm going to mix this up. Okay guys, so we have our one cup of the unbleached white flour. 
We got one good sized banana, we got an egg, we got a cup of oats, we put some cinnamon in, and we're gonna mix it up. This is good. Oh, I have the fork here. So, how many ingredients was that? I'm dyslexic. I use that as an excuse for everything. So I'm just mixing it up. The flour, the oats, the banana. This is going to make um, peanut butter. It's gonna make a nice dough. You're gonna see it form relatively quickly. Um, that's why I like it, it's easy. Sometimes I do it with my hands. I'm gonna do some basic with my um, <clears throat> fork here, making sure I didn't forget anything. Nope. Now, these cookies are a big favorite of mine. Like I said, I make them for the neighbors. Um, they're really healthy for Pete, they're good. So I've used them with a bunch of different um, different kinds of flours, and uh, meaning like coconut flour, almond flour, um, whole wheat flour. But I like this as a, a nice basic one uh, to show you guys, and also the dogs love it and the people love it. Like my neighbors always ask me when I'm gonna make them. Now, let's say you didn't have a dog and you wanted to make these. You could honestly add a ton of honey. You could add chocolate. You know, obviously dogs can eat chocolate. But you could add whatever you want to make them um, sweeter. And that would be fine. Now, it's coming along nicely. I might just go in and use my hands right now to show you how nicely this forms. Um, now you can put a lot of flour on your hands as well, but uh, I am just kind of gonna get in and get dirty. This is actually really fun and it's therapeutic. I don't know if you guys um, know this, but cooking, well, I'm sure you do, if you think about it. Cooking is very therapeutic and it's very family oriented. Um, I used to make these with my stepdaughter when she was young and you getting squirmy wormy. She's 18 now, so she's uh, in nursing school and she doesn't have time to make cookies <laughs> with her old stepmother. But uh, if you have young kids, it's really fun. Sometimes Danny will help me. You know, he's off painting right now. My husband is an artist, he's off painting. Now, as you can see, this dough is really easy to work with. It looks super sticky, but it's not like, the moisture just kind of evaporates as you're doing it. I did use the chunky peanut butter, so it has a little less moisture. It's nicely mixed. We only used one egg, so it mixed up pretty easy. Right, Pete? Mm -hmm. Now, Peter's epilepsy, a lot of times I put the CBD oil on the cookies. Um, I use Bailey's, which is a great brand. It's my friend's company, and I've seen them make it. And uh, Peter does CBD for his epilepsy. And he also uses um, acupuncture, or I should say, the vet gives him acupuncture. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, here's our ball of dough. This is gonna go in here. I'm gonna give my hands a little, little rinse. Cause you know, this is a radio kitchen. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you to make it a little easier. I got my unbleached white flour. Now I'm kind of a little bit OCD about keeping things clean. So I am using the flour, but I'm gonna put some in this bowl, which actually makes it easier. And I think it's smarter instead of making a big mess. So I put it on my hands. Haha, uh -huh, there we go. This is going to make the dough easier. And I'm gonna show you. You have your weapon uh, rolling pin here. Yeah, put a little, little flour on. Oh, hi. I love you. Oh, he gave mama kisses. Yes, he did. Okay, so there's flour on my hands, and I'm just gonna put some flour this guy up a little bit. Flour up my ball of dough. You can see it's really nice, very, really easy to um, work with. See? Now, this makes a lot of cookies. Makes a lot of cookies. I'm just gonna do this with my hand before I go to town with the rolling pin. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Because it's fun. It's so fun. Now, I've made these and I've used shot glasses to make them round. 
But um, for season two, I got cookie cutters. I got cookie cutters and I'll show you guys. They're so cute. So this is kind of, this is kind of like a half inch, but we're gonna roll them out. Oop, needs a little bit more flour here. Boom, 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 very easy. And you can put, don't feel um, shy. Flour is our friend, huh? Flour is our friend. So I'm gonna roll them out to about quarter inch. That's what I want. Now when they cook, they're gonna get even thinner. They're gonna get even um, smaller and thinner. So the one inch, my table's moving, huh? my strength. About quarter inch, you do this with. Now, this is gonna take up this whole board, but you get the picture. I'm gonna show you what I do. And um, I got these really cute cookie cutters. You don't have to use cookie cutters. You do not have to be fancy. Like I was saying, I used to use a shot glass. I'll show you. Easy access. This is a shot glass that I used to use and I used to just put in the flour and use the shot glass. And then you have a nice ground cookie. But I upped my game and I'm gonna use teddy bears and these little round, cute little medallion-y put them in your flour, boom. I find the plastic actually sticks a lot less than the glass, <laughs> the shot glass. So, you put it in, like so, very easy. You just put it in the dough. You can use any kind of shape with these. It's super cute. I also like teddy bear, because sometimes I call Peter my boo-boo bear, because he's a boo-boo bear. See how Peter sits there, he's so cute. I think we all think we have the cutest animals, right? I think so. I got one little cutie. He's watching us from over there. I'm going to show you. He's staying with us. His mom had to do something. So, as you can see, they're super cute. Oop, that guy's kind of messy. Well, see? Kind of round, kind of cute. This dough is a little bit thick. That's okay. Let me show you the bear, a raw bear. Okay, boop. There we go. See how cute? Now, come back. I'm gonna do all these, make all these cookies. We're gonna put them in the oven. I preheated the oven at 400, and it only takes literally about eight and a half minutes in the Viking oven, and you'll have these delicious cookies. Come back. Hey guys, we're back. Some magic happened up in here. So it made about 30 cookies, 30 to 40 cookies, and in the oven, eight and a half minutes was all it took at 400. And here's the magic. <gasps> Can you see these cookies? Oh my goodness. <gasps> So good. So, here's the little bears. Here's the little bears. See how absolutely cute they are? And here's the little medallions. And without, whoop, throw my camera. Woo, throw your cookies. They came out really yummy. And now for Pete, like I was saying, um, I, sometimes I put the baileys on for him. Um, he loves them, you see? Mmm. Healthy. They're chewy. The oats make them chewy. As you see, Peter loves them. Everybody loves them. Hearty cookies. Heart healthy. Elvis would love them. Pete's going crazy. Good for you with the oats. It's just all around super fun. And look how cute they are. I mean, seriously. A bear for your little bear really awesome. Those, thanks guys. Again, this is Sammy Larson and Peter Pan. And we're here to keep you healthy, cook with your dog, have some fun, and just enjoy your life. Stay healthy, stay happy, because a healthy dog is a happy dog. And we'll see you soon on Chow Time with Sammy Larson and Peter Pan.